such a good question. So Microsoft's official position on this is that you cannot control the order of operation for a subscriber. And that's actually true. But it only lends to this example right here. And that is I have a subscriber code unit. And let's say that I have, let's say all three of these guys or all four of these guys subscribe to the same publisher, okay? So we expect that if my publisher was called, then all four of these guys are going to run. Now, we can't determine just by them being in this code unit what order they're going to run. That's where Microsoft is correct. They could run this guy first, then it could run this guy, then it could run this guy, then it could run this guy. We just don't know. Here's what I do know. If you create your subscribers in a numeric order, notice I actually created an example for this. So I have subscriber one that just issues a message that says subscriber function one in code unit 50,010, subscriber two, and subscriber three, okay? And let me see what I'm subscribing to here. I can't remember. So there is subscriber order of execution test. So my hypotheses, and I submit to you, is that I will run that function, and each of these guys which subscribe to the same publisher, these are going to run in order, by numerical order. So 50,010 will run first, 50,011, then 50,012. So I just have to go find that now. Let's see if I put it in somewhere that makes sense. Okay, I got to go find it really quick because I can't see it in there. Either that or I'll resubscribe to it. Did I put it on? Actually, let's go take a look real quick. So it's, it's the sales order page. Okay, well, that would make sense. I thought I put it on the customer, but apparently I put it on the sales order. So if I go find my sales order and go view it, it should be... There we go. Okay, my subscriber test. So again, what I'm proposing is that it will fire off in order of operation. It'll go 10, 11, and 12. Hopefully that works. Okay, subscriber function 1 in code unit 10. Subscriber function 2 in code unit 11. Subscriber function 3 in code unit 12. So what we're able to prove here is at least in this example, if I sub set my subscribers out in this type of manner where it's sequenced numerically, it'll run in order. 50,010, 50,011, 50,012, where it won't do that, what we're being told by Microsoft, and I've never actually asked them to prove this, I've never tried it, but what they're saying is if you create multiple subscribers to a publisher in the same code unit, then you can't predict what order it's in, but if you do it this way, you can. So again, that might lend some credence to why we'd want to separate subscribers out. Maybe you have a situation where you absolutely need to have multiple subscriptions to a published object, and you need to be able to say it's going to run in this order. Well, this would be your loophole to get that to work.